this air wasn't made for us. It's ancient, alien. Trapped for over a hundred million years inside golden droplets of fossilized tree resin, tiny bubbles of ancient atmosphere have survived the passage of time. And when scientists finally pierced these prehistoric capsules, they made a stunning discovery. The oxygen level during the age of dinosaurs was around 35%, nearly double what we breathe today. Such a rich, oxygen-heavy world was not just different, it was supercharged. Forests teemed with life on a scale we can barely imagine. Insects grew to monstrous proportions. There were dragonflies with wingspans wider than hawks, centipedes as long as humans, and spiders large enough to cast shadows on the forest floor. The very air fueled gigantism, empowering predators to grow into towering titans and prey to evolve bizarre defenses just to survive. Fire would have raged more fiercely, lightning strikes igniting instant infernos, yet life flourished in this volatile paradise. Amber, in its stillness, became the perfect time capsule but it didn't just preserve air, it captured entire moments in time. Each piece contains whispers of a vanished world, feathers from dinosaurs that never made it into textbooks, flowers with pollen still intact, insects frozen in mid-flight or mid-hunt, lizards mid-snack, and even parasites still latched onto their hosts. Some pieces have even revealed microorganisms, ancient bacteria and viruses, perfectly preserved, silent passengers from a forgotten age. Unlike bones turned to stone, amber preserves life in color and motion. It offers us something hauntingly rare, not just a record of death, but a preserved fragment of life itself. When I first saw the specimen, I was completely blown away. You can see this beautiful little tiny bird skull. A world full of movement, sound and breath, suspended forever in golden silence. Breathing that ancient air today would scorch your lungs, but once it was the breath of giants. And every time we crack open a piece of amber and peer inside, we're not just looking back in time. We're opening a window into a world that once roared, crawled, fluttered and thrived, powered by an atmosphere we were never meant to breathe. the ancient gecko. In the dense prehistoric forests that once stood where Kaliningrad, Russia now lies, a tiny lizard met an extraordinary fate. Trapped in sticky tree resin sometime between 54 and 34 million years ago, this creature, no bigger than six inches, became a time traveler, preserved through the ages in a golden tomb. Scientists named it Yantarogecko balticus, a nod to the Baltic amber that held its fossilized remains. What makes this gecko so remarkable isn't just its age, but its condition. The front half of its body is astonishingly intact, down to the short snout, the bulging forehead, and even the glassy eyes that still seem to gaze out from the past. It's a hauntingly vivid snapshot of life frozen in time. Like modern geckos, this ancient species had no eyelids. It likely cleaned its eyes with its tongue, a peculiar trait that still fascinates researchers today. Its toes were equipped with adhesive pads, revealing that even back then, geckos were already expert climbers. This single discovery rewrote part of their evolutionary story, showing that their sticky feet evolved far earlier than once believed. But perhaps the most curious part is how only half of the gecko was preserved. It likely ventured too close to the resin surface, and in an instant, its front was caught. The rest of its body, left exposed, would have decomposed or been scavenged, lost to time. What remains is a partial yet powerful echo of ancient life, now carefully housed in the German Amber Museum in Ribnitz Damgarten. A fragile reminder that sometimes, the smallest creatures leave the biggest clues about our planet's deep past. If uh, people have a big diamond, so what? The world is full of big diamonds. 
but it's not full of dinosaurs in uh, amber. A dinosaur tail. It wasn't found buried deep in the ground or revealed through some dramatic excavation. Instead, in 2015, it was spotted at a market in Myanmar, a curious piece of amber that, at first glance, looked like it simply contained a bit of plant matter. But when Chinese paleontologist Xing Lida examined it closely, he realized he was looking at something truly extraordinary. A 99-million-year-old dinosaur tail, perfectly preserved, complete with bones and feathers. The tail, just 1.5 inches long, belonged to a young Kolurosaur, a group of theropod dinosaurs that includes everything from the mighty Tyrannosaurus to modern birds. The feathers were a marvel in themselves. Chestnut-colored on the top and white underneath, they lacked the central shaft found in bird feathers today. Instead, they were soft and fluffy, made up of delicate barbules that hinted at their primitive structure. This wasn't just a visual relic, even traces of iron, likely from the dinosaur's hemoglobin, were detected within the amber, offering a rare chemical fingerprint from the ancient past. As if that weren't enough, the same piece of amber contained an added surprise. A tiny Cretaceous ant, frozen forever alongside the dinosaur remains. It's a once-in-a-lifetime double discovery, capturing a snapshot of life from nearly 100 million years ago, sealed in golden resin and forgotten, until now. The Feathered Hatchling In 2017, scientists revealed a breathtaking discovery from the amber mines of Myanmar. A tiny, bird-like creature, no more than two inches tall, frozen in time. Encased in golden resin for nearly 100 million years, this hatchling belonged to the Enantiornithes, an extinct group of birds that once thrived alongside the dinosaurs. But this was no ordinary bird. It hatched into the world already adorned with feathers, bore teeth in its beak, and had claws sprouting from its wings. A bizarre blend of modern bird and miniature dinosaur. Imagine a creature that looked like a sparrow crossed with a tiny raptor. Despite their abundance in the Cretaceous period, Enantiornithes couldn't survive the mass extinction event that ended the age of dinosaurs. What remains today is nothing short of a paleontological miracle, a nearly complete fossil with bones, feathers, and even traces of soft tissue, all perfectly preserved in three dimensions. It's a haunting yet beautiful glimpse into an ancient world, capturing the fragile moment between life and death, sealed forever in amber. The dino that wasn't. In 2020, the scientific world was abuzz with what seemed like a groundbreaking discovery, the smallest dinosaur ever found. Named Oculodentivis kaungrai, this tiny creature had a hummingbird-sized skull, large, alert eyes, and rows of sharp little teeth. Trapped in Burmese amber for nearly 100 million years, it looked like a miniature prehistoric bird frozen mid-flight. But the excitement didn't last long. As researchers dug deeper into the fossil's details, cracks in the theory began to show. Something didn't quite fit. There were no feathers, the teeth were fused directly to the jaw, and the skull had odd features that didn't match any known bird or dinosaur. Then came a second fossil, even better preserved, and the truth emerged. Oculodentivis wasn't a dinosaur or bird at all. It was a highly unusual lizard, its unique anatomy didn't match anything seen before, hinting that it might represent a previously unknown branch of reptilian evolution. In the end, this tiny fossil taught scientists a big lesson. Even with today's technology, nature can still fool us. And sometimes, the most astonishing discoveries are the ones that rewrite everything we thought we knew. The flea that carried death. At first glance, it seemed like a simple, unremarkable fossil, just a two-inch flea trapped in amber from the Dominican Republic. But under the microscope, it told a far more chilling story. Deep inside the fossilized insect were tiny traces of bacteria that bore a haunting resemblance to Yersinia pestis, the same deadly microbe responsible for the bubonic plague. If true, this would mean the plague, or at least its ancient relatives, has existed for millions of years, far earlier than anyone imagined. Long before it devastated medieval Europe, this silent killer may have haunted prehistoric forests, spreading death long before humans ever walked the earth. The discovery raises a provocative question. Could ancient diseases like this have contributed to the fall of species, or even played a role in mass extinctions? This tiny fossil, sealed in amber, doesn't just preserve the past. 
it whispers warnings from it. The ant with a vampire horn. Trapped forever in amber, a 98 million year old scene from a prehistoric jungle reveals a predator in action, an ant mid-attack on a helpless beetle larva. But this was no ordinary ant. Named Linguamaya mex vladi, it looked like something out of a nightmare. From its head jutted a long, spear-like horn, possibly reinforced with metal particles, nature's own bioengineering. Its jaws didn't just bite, they snapped shut like a bear trap, designed to impale prey in a fraction of a second. Once struck, the horn may have helped drain fluid straight into the ant's mouth, a gruesome feeding mechanism that gave it the nickname the Vampire Ant. Whether for hunting, feeding, or immobilizing prey, this bizarre creature had evolved weapons that seem almost alien. And thanks to Amber, its final moment, a deadly strike frozen in time, still survives 98 million years later. The Ancient Frogs of Fire Forests Frogs rarely fossilize. Their soft, delicate bodies usually vanish with time, but not these. Trapped in golden amber from the Cretaceous period, four tiny frogs, each no more than 0.79 inches long, have defied extinction to tell their story. They lived in warm, humid forests prone to fire, a chaotic world of smoke and survival. Inside the same amber that preserved one of these frogs, scientists also found charred plant debris and even a beetle, perhaps the frog's final meal, swallowed just before it was sealed forever. The species was named Electrorana limoe, a ghostly ancestor of today's fire-bellied toads. These creatures, born of wet earth and caught in burning forests, now lie perfectly still, a fragile moment from a lost world, held in resin for over 99 million years. The Spider Family It's a snapshot of love and loss, frozen for eternity. In a single piece of amber, a mother spider clutches her egg sac, surrounded by her newly hatched young, a delicate moment of maternal care sealed nearly 100 million years ago. These spiders belong to the now-extinct Laganomegapidae family. They looked much like modern jumping spiders, with large, gleaming eyes adapted for hunting in the dark. But even with their impressive adaptations, they didn't survive the shifting tides of evolution. Yet in this final scene, a mother guarding her brood, Amber captured not just a creature, but an emotion. A timeless portrait of instinct, devotion, and the quiet tragedy of extinction. 230 million year old mites. High in Italy's Dolomite Alps, scientists discovered one of the oldest pieces of amber ever found, dating back over 230 million years to the Triassic period. Trapped inside were some of Earth's earliest hitchhikers, ancient mites. What stunned researchers wasn't just their age, but how familiar they looked. These tiny creatures fed on plants, triggered gall formations, and behaved almost exactly like the mites crawling on leaves today. The biggest difference? Back then, they had just two pairs of legs instead of four. In a world filled with towering reptiles and strange new ecosystems, these mites didn't just survive. They barely changed. A tiny testament to the power of staying the same in a world that kept evolving around them. Yes, even flowers. You wouldn't expect something as delicate as a flower to survive millions of years, but Amber had other plans. In two separate discoveries, scientists unearthed ancient blooms perfectly preserved in golden resin, Valviloculus pleristaminis and Flicker pyoflora. Both are around 99 million years old. Despite their age, these flowers still retained remarkable detail. Petals, stamens, seeds, even signs of fire damage. It's a rare glimpse into the prehistoric world of plants, where even beauty had to be resilient. Their modern relatives still bloom today in fire-prone landscapes like South Africa, proving they've always been survivors, designed by evolution to thrive where others perish. The tick that bit a dinosaur. It's one thing to imagine dinosaurs ruling the ancient earth, towering giants stomping through lush forests, but it's another to picture them doing something very familiar, scratching at an itch. In 2017, scientists discovered something astonishing in a piece of Burmese amber, a 99 million year old tick, its legs splayed and jaws locked into a dinosaur feather. That's right, this tick didn't just live in the time of dinosaurs, it was feeding on one when it got trapped in resin. 
This is one of the rarest kinds of fossils, direct evidence of ancient parasitism. Most fossils only tell us who existed, but this one shows how they interacted. The feather, likely from a small feathered dinosaur called a theropod, still had its fine structures intact, delicate barbs and all. The tick's mouth parts were deeply embedded, suggesting it was actively feeding when it was ambushed by the sticky tree resin. Think about that. A prehistoric pest caught mid-meal, frozen for eternity. And not just any pest. Ticks belong to a lineage that's been annoying vertebrates for over 100 million years. It's humbling, and maybe a little creepy, to realize that while dinosaurs may be gone, their parasites are still around. So next time you swat a mosquito or scratch a bug bite, just remember, even dinosaurs weren't safe from the itch. The bird foot that still has skin. Most fossils give us bones. If we're lucky, maybe a few feathers. But this? This gave us skin, scales, muscle, a whole foot frozen in time, as if the bird had just perched there moments ago. Discovered in Burmese amber, this remarkable fossil preserves the foot of an enantiornithine bird, a long extinct group that once filled the skies during the age of dinosaurs. These weren't ancestors of modern birds, but a separate, now-vanished branch of avian evolution. And yet, their anatomy is eerily familiar. The level of preservation is astonishing. You can see the individual scales on the toes, the soft tissue wrapping around bone, even the contours of tendons. Scientists could tell how this bird likely moved, how it gripped branches, maybe even how it landed after flight. It wasn't just a dead relic. It was a living creature, in motion, frozen mid-life. This kind of fossil opens a window into behavior, not just biology. It's like Amber caught a fleeting gesture, a footstep in the forest, never meant to last, now outliving the entire species. From the smallest mites to the grandest dinosaurs, from mother spiders cradling their egg sacs to ancient bacteria that once carried death, Amber stands as a timeless witness to Earth's hidden past. It doesn't just preserve fossils, it captures the essence of life itself, freezing moments in golden resin that were never meant to last, but somehow did. Every discovery inside Amber is a snapshot of an ancient world, telling stories of survival, beauty and tragedy that remain suspended in time. As scientists continue to unearth these astonishing revelations, Amber proves to be more than just a fossil. It's a portal to the distant past, revealing secrets of creatures, plants and ecosystems that no longer exist. And this is only the beginning. Who knows what other wonders await, sealed in the amber that has guarded them for millions of years?